Hello and welcome to episode 5 of my Stellar Tactics tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on more exploring of the Dauntless to uncover just what the mad Dr. Ramus is up to. In the last episode we visited the captain's cabin and found the keycard and also found that the captain was due a meeting with Dr. Ramus and down here on this couch we can see evidence of that meeting which is what you'd expect if you book an appointment with a lunatic uh, it's going to end up a bit messy anyway so now what we've got to do now that we've got the green key card now we can go to VATS and investigate what happened down there so now I need to find how we're going to get there so let's head back this way I don't think... Oh, there is something here for us to loot. Uh, let's come in here. And see what we can see. Oh, another health pack. We need to be needing all of the med packs we can get. This is a nice find. It is. Indeed. Okay, so let's see. Anything else that we can loot in here? Remember, pushing the tab key will show you. No, I think that's it. So let's continue on. And there's nothing there either. Okay, so we're going back this way. And I believe we're going to have to go in the lift now. So let's go to the elevator. Ah, did you find Captain, F Captain Fisher? No, he's not here. We did find blood on the couch though. But no body, so there is some hope that he may be alive. Yeah, sure. I was able to delay the cryo res for the next shift. That will buy us some time. His last email mentions he was meeting with Dr. Ramus. Anything else? Yes, the captain may have been going to the vats, and that's where we're going to go. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, head down to the vats. The elevator is unlocked. You should be able to open the door with the key card if you have it. Be careful. If the safe was open, then someone has weapons. They most certainly do. Okay, so let's head into the elevators. Remember with the elevators you have to walk right in, otherwise it will say gather your party like it does in Baldur's Gate. Okay, we'll click on this lever. See, yeah, look, you must gather your group before leaving the area. And in Baldur's Gate, remember, it said you must gather your party before you can proceed. There, that should hopefully be enough. Yeah, there we go. And we want that level one. I imagine this is taking a little while because it's the first time of me going to the VATS deck or maybe it's just a much bigger level so more for the game to load. But at least it gives you an idea of what you will encounter when you travel between locations couple of minutes, that's all. Right, okay, so game is saving, that's good. And let's select my melee and exit the elevator, or have I got a There we go. Now I'm expecting maybe some more infected. We'll see. Oh, there's something for me to loot. Uh, let's see if we can grab that. Oh, lots of 
sorts of goodies. Frag grenade. Oh, grenades are very cool. Oh, so a data card. I wonder if that have a little bit of story for us. Stun grenades. There you go. There's my favourite for taking out the bosses. And a load of ammunition. We'll have all of that. And we got a new log entry. So let's take a look. Dr. Ramus. Inconceivable. Until this point, the injections had little effect on the psychology of the subjects. However, something amazing has happened. I've discovered that injecting the solution directly into the spinal fluid produces a neurological mutation. Photos for... Photos... Phosphorcent poly... Polyps rapidly develop along the spinal columns of the subjects, eventually dropping off to form a biological mass. The mass grows, extending tendrils that reach out to other sleepers, assimilating them. I, I think we have a new life form here. He, oh, he is sick, is he not? Okay, next. Kelly and Dr. Jensen have been snooping around. I may have made the mistake of leaving a sample in the medical bay last night. Emily came in unexpectedly and I have to leave in a hurry. I had to leave in a hurry. I realised later that I had not fully cleaned up after myself. When I returned, the sample was gone. Kelly and Emily were hunched over a microscope late in the evening. I think they're on to me. The captain was so compliant, I moved our appointment to the dinner hour when everyone was in the mess hall. It was easy to clobber him over the head and wheel him down to the cryo bays while everyone was eating. I've made one last set of injections directly into the captain's spinal column. There you go, I did warn him, I did say. The new serum took effect almost immediately. The telltale phosphorus blah blah appearing near the injection sites. I'm going to leave the captain locked in the bay with a remote bio-monitoring transmitter. The sedative is wearing off. He's waking. Yeah, so we're going to see the doctor, uh, the captain, then we might meet as some infected creature. And here's our current quest or mission. Enter the vats. Sector 1 Bay 1, you should examine the integrity of the vats in the bay and see if you can locate Captain Fisher. Yeah, he's wandering around it somewhere. So, we're going to need to fight, no doubt. Let's see, is there anything else? No, I think it's just that. So, we can now move up to here. And it looks like I might need to hack. So let's use this got my main guy. Oh, that's a nuisance, he's now moved out of line of sight. Okay, so let's duck this one down. And see what good a shot we can get. Oh, 80. <coughs> oh, so I can't do another auto, but I can do a single. <coughs> oh, Jenny's skill with submachine guns has gone up. Cool. Okay, who's next? Let's buck him down. And yeah, he can get a good shot in. 75, that'll do. Oh, Sarah's rifles has improved. Excellent. And I think that's all she can do. Yeah, not enough points to do anymore. Time for Arnie with the hammer. Go and bash him on the head. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. His melee weapons has improved. Okay, now I'm going to leave him there and let these walk to me and use up waste their action points. 
and with this guy he's got a long range rifle so I can move him to here and duck him down and get one auto shot off <coughs> yeah that's a nice bit of damage okay so my party's all ready for the next round Oh, he looks nasty. That's a big hammer he's got. I have to get that for Arnie. Good, the other one's sort of panicked, so that's why he's not doing anything. Now, who's this? Oh, this is Captain Fisher. Here we go. That's what you end up looking like if you have a meeting with a total lunatic. You end up glowing green. And where did he get the flipping hammer the size of that from? That's what I'd like to know. Right, anyway, so first of all, let's do an auto burst into him. Now this one over here is only going to panic for one round, and then he'll continue on the fight in the next round. So I'm just going to focus on this one, the captain. And you can see his health is going down slowly. So he's perhaps going to take out Arnie. <laughs> yeah, this one's going to do some damage to me. Oh. And the last one. Ah. I've got nearly to half health. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, halfway with his health. Okay, let's see what damage he does now to mine. Oh, did he just heal? He did, he just healed. Good, you run off. Oh, that's worked out rather well. One runs off and the other one comes to fight. Okay, I'm going to need to reload. So remember, right click. We'll do that, but it has cost me an auto round. first. Oops, just had that. Good. <laughs> right, now, so that captain's round there. I'm not going to go running after him and waste my action points. What I will do is just reload and then move on to the next. Perhaps move him back a bit. No, better leave him like that. And here he comes. Oh yeah, he's going to do serious damage. Right, let's get some shots in. Oh, that's good. 86. And let's do an auto. Ah, what I should do is heal Arnie, otherwise he's going to be knocked out of the fight. I should have thought of that. Who's next? Oh yeah, look, I'm going to lose him. Oh, he's just in it. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a medium healing kit on him. I think he's lost a lot of health. But I don't want to waste the large ones, so 
think medium should be good enough. That's the medium? I think that's the medium. Or is that the small? I want to make sure I get the right one. Let's have a look. That's a small, that's a large, so that's a medium. So I did have the right one. Okay, so what I'll do, left click on that and left click on this crew member, Arnie. Arnold. There you go, that's got his health back to full. Now I've got six points left, so I can do one normal shot, single shot. And one auto. Oh, nice, she's got nuts skill going. Not that it matters, because I'll be losing them later. <coughs> yeah, so he's back to half health. Okay, let's do this one. <coughs> His rifle's gone up. Ah, he's only got four points now, so it's a single shot. Okay. Nice. Nine. Hey. Oh, he's got another two-handed melee skill up. Oh, excellent. Look at that. He did a lot of damage. Very happy with him. Okay, so I'm going to need to reload after this. Ah. I've nearly got the captain. Oh, You're in for it now! Nice. Okay, so I've got enough to do a single shot. Ah. Captain is going down. That's it, you run. Okay, so I need to reload. Can I get a shot in now? He's moved off too far. I'm not going to chase after him. Ah, he can get a shot in. That's all he can do. And I'm not going to chase after him. That would be a mistake. Oh, he's not going to heal again, is he? He is. hit points down though, so that's good. Oh, I need to reload. And that's used up all my action points. Good. Ugh. Oops. Ouch. At least he's still standing. I don't need to heal him yet. Alright, so let's do an auto. And another one. And a single shot. Let's see if we can get this captain. Oh, wow, a machine gun. I feel stronger there. already. Yeah. Hey, who's next? Oh, we can get a couple of auto shots in. Hopefully, Arnie will finish him off. Yeah, there we go. 
Goodbye, Captain Fisher. That's what happens when you go to a meeting with a lunatic. You end up on the floor. Okay, so that's the fight over with. Let's see what loot we can get here. Warm wiring. Ah, oh, that's uh, trader junk, merchant junk. So's that. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's that big hammer he had, but that does the same damage as what I've got, so... And it's the same range, so no point in using that. Armor's an upgrade, look at that. we got some armor I can put on. And, oh, what's this? A big gun. Yeah, I'm not sure if I will use that. It does a lot of damage, though. Ah, this could be helpful. And a bit of loot there. What's that? Oh, damage power armor. Okay, so that's just a crazy jump. Right, okay, so I've gained a level. So let's now go into my character and level up. So what was I doing? I was doing his perception, I think, with this one. Um, but I wanted to get his health to 10 first of all, so let's do that. And then I'm going to put the rest into perception. And this character as well. That's done, so let's do the dexterity. There we go. Oh, I didn't assign these, did I? So, Endurance and assign. There we go, look, you've got a bit more hit points. And you're going to need all the hit points you can get. Okay, so that's that. Let's now carry on exploring after we reload. Oh, another augment. And another shield. That's really quite good. Although I want to keep that shield for my permanent crew members. Okay, so let's go into the pocket. Is that better than what he's currently got? This character is the one I want to keep upgraded. Yeah, no. I'll keep that. Uh, the armour, though, I think is definitely an upgrade. So we'll put that on. Plus it gives one to dexterity. That's nice. You can see there, now I've got an extra point. And anything else? What's this use? Oh, that uses minigun ammunition, and this is the next. Look at the damage on that. It does a ton of damage. But the minigun ammunition, if I can find it. Yeah. You see, you can only store 50 of it, so you run out really quickly. Right, okay, so anyway, that's that stuff. I don't need to worry about upgrading my melee character because the damage is the same. Let's carry on. Oh, let's select my melee. Oh, and they're still regenerating the health I've just gave him. Oh, there's something up here. Let's go have a look. Lots of shotgun ammunition. Oh, what am I doing? But I don't need the shotgun ammunition because I'm not using shotguns. This is poorly lined up for this fight. Very poorly lined up. How many? There's only one enemy. 
no, there's two enemies over here. So we've got one here by the door, probably that one's up there. But I think I want to fall back. So let's crouch and let them come to me. Keep that auto. You can move back to here. And I want you turning to face them. You can crouch and you can come back to here, face the right way and crouch. Let's move him looking this direction. I want him, I want him to take a hit from the side. That's lethal. Oh, I duck this other one down. Okay, still waiting for them. There he comes. Uh. Sucker punching. Right, my turn. <coughs> oh, critical. And hit. stay down. <laughs> Level up. <coughs> sad to see this character go, actually, Arnie. He does some good damage. Right, duck down. I feel stronger already. <laughs> Critical. Hit. How's that for a trick shot? Nice. So that's one, so I've got five more I've got to kill, wow. Okay, so let's now wait for them to come to me. I've got to reload. Now I can walk him back a bit further. Oops. There we go. Yeah. Now that was a good shot. Yeah. I do like the machine guns. Look at that. Three quarters of his health wiped out from the machine gun. Oh, I wasted a shot then. I could have had one more shot. Never mind. There we go. So that is two down. Four more to go. Let's reload. And level these two up. Yeah, so this one I'm doing agility. And this one I'm doing. Do I want to do agility? No, I think I'll do dexterity. Now I'm going to do perception. Yeah. I mean, these crew members are only temporary. I'll be losing them once I get off the Dauntless, so they don't really matter. But it still makes sense to skill them up because I still need to get through some fights. What's that? Bender jump. That looks at that. Hey, okay, 
Is there anything in here for us to loot? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there's the timer. So it doesn't look like there's anything for us to loot in here. So it was just them two to kill. And it looks like I've just got to continue going through the other vats now. This one next. But I shall do that in the next episode. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.